Hello everyone, my name is Jyoti Sheldon. This is an overview of advanced cell diagnostics RNA-scope assay for viral detection. The RNA-scope in situ hybridization technology is a highly specific and sensitive method to detect RNA biomarkers in cells and tissues within the morphological context. It is a hybridization-based signal amplification system with a unique probe design that allows for simultaneous signal amplification and background suppression. The technology consists of three parts, a unique target probe that ACD designs against your sequence of interest, a signal amplification system that generates a high signal to noise ratio, and lastly, visualization of single RNA molecule as punctate dots. The assay allows for the spatial mapping of mRNA, link RNA, splice variants, highly homologous sequences and point mutations in cell and intact tissues, all of which can be visualized with either fluorescent or chromogenic labels. The assay can be performed on a wide variety of sample tissues, including FFPE tissues, fresh frozen or fixed frozen tissues, PBMCs, and cultured cells. The two key features of the RNA scope technology are probe design and single signal amplification. The oligonucleotide target specific probes are depicted as Zs to emphasize the fact that they have two regions linked by a spacer. The bottom of the Z complements and hybridizes to the target transcript, while the top of the Z is the base for the amplification structure. When two Zs hybridize in tandem to the target sequence, it creates a binding site upon which a preamplifier can bind and the amplification tree can build. After the Z pairs hybridize with the target RNA, the preamplifier binds to the top of the ZZ pair. Each preamplifier can bind multiple amplifiers, and each amplifier can further bind multiple label probes. Label probes contain either a chromogenic or a fluorescent enzyme that generates a signal detectable under a standard bright field microscope or fluorescent microscope. This signal amplification strategy yields high sensitivity and allows for visualization of target RNAs as a single dot, where each dot represents an individual RNA molecule that can be quantified. Background is eliminated because the signal is dependent on two Zs binding next to each other on the target sequence. If both Zs do not bind next to each other, then the preamplifier cannot form a stable hybridization and the amplification tree does not get built. Consequently, no amplification of non-specific hybridization occurs, generating little to no background signal. A standard RNA scope probe will consist of 20 Z pairs pulled together that are designed to hybridize next to each other along a target region, allowing for a tremendous amount of amplification at signal potential. However, a minimum of only three Z pairs is needed to bind to the target RNA sequence in order to generate enough signal for molecular detection. Taken together, this combination of probe design and signal amplification ensures a high signal-to-noise ratio. The RNA scope assay is an ideal assay for viral detections. The characteristic features that we saw earlier of this technology enables one to overcome the various challenges and limitations that researchers face in the detection of viruses. First, the context. This in situ hybridization assay that can be used on various sample types such as FFPE, fresh frozen and fixed frozen tissues allows for detection of any target while providing morphological information and viral localization. This can help researchers identify entry portals, replication sites, disease site, and therefore understand viral dynamics. The preamplifier and amplifier tree system is built to enable high sensitivity and detection of low viremia. This helps in detecting viruses at the early stages of infection and latent stages that present lower transcripts and that are often present, often present difficulties in detecting these viruses. The patent double Z technology provides high specificity of the assay, and this helps discern closely related viral species. Given the sequence is known, we can design probes for any species. The design process is rapid, which serves as a huge advantage for emerging viruses without available antibodies, such as the new COVID-19 virus or the coronavirus. 
The probes can be designed single-stranded and can be made strand-specific to discern various viral stages with hybridization to both sense and antisense strands to detect replication and resting stages. RNA scope has the ability to detect a wide range of viral species such as DNA viruses, RNA viruses, and retrotranscribing viruses. All of these viruses can be detected as both double-stranded or single-stranded families. Here's a list of some of the viruses that RNAscope has been used to previously detect. Amongst all, one of the new species that we have probes designed for is the V and Cove 2019 virus, or the coronavirus. For today's review, we will be focusing on the group four, or the single-stranded RNA positive strand virus family. The positive single-stranded RNA viruses, some of the examples that we will review are the Zika, the mers virus, the hepatitis virus, and we will give you some specifications for our new coronavirus probe. Here is an example of the use of RNA scope in infectious disease for the early detection of emerging Zika virus. We were able to rapidly generate probes specific for several strains of viruses, and in collaboration with James Bryan at Texas A&M School of Medicine, we were able to detect the strain PRVAB C59, which detects the Puerto Rican, Asian, and Brazilian strain of Zika virus in mouse tissue infected with the virus, but not in uninfected tissues, as you can see on the screen. The lower column shows the DAPI control probe. This publication is from Minor et al. from Washington University, St. Louis, and shows the use of RNA scope in Zika viral detection. Zika virus infection results in severe eye diseases in humans. Minor et al. evaluated the Zika viral eye infection using a mouse model of Zika viral pathogenesis. These mice developed severe eye infections and detected abundant viral RNA in their tears. The mouse model ideal for studying Zika virus induced ocular disease. This is helpful to define mechanisms of viral persistence and develop therapies for viral eye infections. RNA scope in situ hybridization assay detected the Zika virus in the eye, and you can easily see the presence of the virus in corneal layers, optic nerve, bipolar and ganglion layers of the retina. Here is another example from the Oregon Health and Science Universities, where researchers were studying Zika virus in adult rhesus monkeys. Overall, they showed the apparent tropism of the virus for tissues of the peripheral nervous system and reproductive tracts of both male and female. The model provides a platform for development and testing of preventative or therapeutic interventions to combat emergence of Zika virus. The RNA scope ish assay was used to detect Zika viral RNA that persisted in neuronal and lymphoid tissue 28 to 35 days post infection. As you can see, there is strong staining of Zika virus in multiple axillary lymph node follicles seen on the right side, 28 days post infection. Another example. This paper was from the CDC, where researchers linked Zika virus to congenital microcephaly and associated this role with pregnancy loss. Mechanisms of Zika virus intrauterine transmission, replication, tropism, and persistence were poorly understood. RNA scope ish assay was used to localize replicative Zika viral RNA in brains of infants and placentas of women with pregnancy loss. This is another example by Saparapu from the Vanderbilt University, where they isolated a panel of human monoclonal antibodies from subjects previously infected with Zika virus. The Zika virus 117 was one of the most inhibitory antibodies. This paper shows use of RNA scope in therapeutic studies. RNA scope ish revealed an almost complete absence of viral RNA in the junctional zone and the decidua of the placenta in mice treated with Zika virus 117 antibody. As you can see, the three columns represent the three types of treatment. 
and the presence of the viral RNA using, detected using RNA-scope assay. Moving on to the MERS family, this paper uh, from Hagmans et al. shows the use of RNA-scope in C2 hybridization in detection of the MERS virus. The mers cov virus or infection causes outbreaks in humans fueled by introduction of this virus from the dromedary camels. The researchers show that a viral vaccine MVAS confers mucosal immunity to mers cov in dromedary camels. The ironoscope ish assay demonstrated that fewer cells stained from mers cov RNA in the nose of MVAS vaccinated camels. As you can see, no significant lesions were present compared to the controls. Abundant mers viral RNA was present in epithelium and lamina propria of nasal respiratory tissue of the control vaccinated ant camels. A comparison was also done for the IHC to detect the mers antigen and for the ish to detect the mers RNA. This is an example for RNA scope to detect the hepatitis A virus. The origins of the human hepatitis A virus are unknown. In this paper, Drexler discovered highly diversified viruses that share unique biological features with HAV in bats, rodents, hedgehogs, and shrews. This is another great example of how knowing the sequence RNA scope can be designed to detect any species with high sensitivity and specificity. RNA-scope in situ hybridization detected the hepatitis A viral related hepatovirus RNA in bat liver and spleen. HIV related viral RNA was found in bat hepatocytes in large mononuclear cells within the germinal center of the splenic lymphatic nodules. This is a paper from NIH. Until recently, therapeutic eradication of chronic HCV infection has required the use of injectable interferon alpha formulations that are difficult to tolerate and frequently unsuccessful. Interferon-free treatment of HCV infection is now possible with recently developed directly acting antiviral agents or DAAs that inhibit the function of viral proteins such as the NS34A viral protease the NS5B RNA polymerase, and the NS5A non-structural protein. The interferon-free DA combination therapies for HCV are oral regimens that are favorably tolerated and typically induce rapid and sustained viral suppression in all patients in clinical trials. The interferon-free DA therapy with sofosbuvir plus ribavirin was given to treatment naive chronic HCV genotype 1 patients. On treatment, they saw viral clearance was accompanied by rapid downregulation of ISGs in liver and blood, regardless of treatment outcome. Analysis of paired pretreatment pre and end-of-treatment liver biopsies from SVR patients showed that viral clearance was accompanied by decreased expression of type 2 and 3 interference but unexpectedly increased expression of the type 1 interferon A2. RNA-scope-ish confirmed a downregulation of the interferon-stimulated genes IFI44 in liver biopsies after directly acting antiviral DAA therapy. Every year, approximately 20 million people are newly infected with HIV worldwide. Among them, 3.4 million patients develop an acute symptomatic infection, and 70,000 people die due to the development of fulminant hepatitis. Furthermore, immunosuppressed patients develop a chronic course of HEV GT3. Four major human pathogenic HEV genotypes have been described. HEV GT1 and 2 are restricted to humans and are mainly transmitted via the fecal oral route through contaminated drinking water. In contrast, HEV GT3 and 4 are found in humans, pigs, and other mammalian species, leading to sporadic cases of HEV infections in industrialized nations. GT3 and 4 are mainly acquired through zoonotic transmission, through ingestion or contact with infected animals, 
but transmission through contaminated blood products has also been reported. Therapeutic options are restricted to ribavirin and interferon alpha. In this paper, researcher Allwise has shown the use of RNA scope to confirm the presence of HIV in infected hepatocytes. Uniform distribution of HIV RNA could be detected in all human hepatocytes, but not in non-infected humanized control mouse. Ribavirin treatment of HIV GT1 infected mice showed to decrease intrahepatic HIV RNA. This slide shows details and specifications on the coronavirus probe. The RNA scope probe VNCOV 2019S is now available, catalog number 848561, and targets the coronavirus that caused the outbreak in Wuhan, China from 2019. The probe was designed to specifically detect the spike S protein of the novel coronavirus. It was also designed to avoid cross detections to SARS, MERS, other coronaviruses, Ebola virus, or HIV. It can be used in a variety of animal models, including human, mouse, rat, monkey, potential natural hosts, ferret, bat, and etc. The probe can be used to study localization and infiltration of the virus in various types of tissues. For any questions on any of the viral probes, please visit our website at www.acdbio.com. To get more information on the use of RNA scope in viral pathogenesis research, you can visit one of the following links. Thank you.